This is part two. This is the final chapter. The end of the journey. Battle between Canon and the battle between Sony lenses. You know, before we did this, you know, we used Canon. And when we start, start, first started buying all these lenses, we put all the E-mount lenses we could get our hands on from, from Sony, all the A-mount lenses we could get our hands on from Sony. But all these Sony lenses, we were so excited and fired up to start using Sony because we wanted to have the ability to do a little autofocus now and then. We were ready for change. But what we found is we actually came back full circle and, and we're going to stick with our Canon lenses and here's why. I'm going to go into that right now and I'm going to show you. Okay, so here's the Sony 50mm. This is a cloudy day. This is a corporate shoot here in Troy, Illinois. Sony 1.4, that's the A-mount lens. So the Canon Metabones adapter, Sony A7S. Sony 50mm, once again, the 1.4. This was shot there at truck centers. And you can see the Canon is more washed out. It still looks great. Again, not huge differences, but you do see a difference between the Sony and the Canon lens here. Look at the greens here. And then we go to the Canon. You'll see, and this is shot with a 50mm uh, Sony and then the 50mm Canon again. You just see the greens. You know, I'm sure in post you could put a little more contrast in there or you could, you know, you can get a, a, make it look a little less washed out. But this is a time lapse. This is a Sony, this 50mm as well. Sony time lapse, storm coming in here. Canon time lapse. On the wider shots, it's harder to tell the difference between lenses. Another time lapse here. And then the Canon time lapse coming up here on the same shot. Again, wider shots, you can't tell as much with these time lapses, but still you can see that the picture is sharper and colors are a little pop a little more contrasting on the Sony. The signs there, look at those signs on the Sony. And then the signs of the Canon, they still look good, but just a lot more rich the colors were with the Sony. And real quick, we're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna show you guys photos here. This is just a boom, boom, boom photo. It's just to show you the differences. Some of these are, you can't tell much. Some of them you can tell more than the, just a quick recap here. Um, depth of field, you can tell the Canon wins. And then of course, Canon wins with the sun flare. And uh, Sony wins with the sharpness and color. Love that sun flare. Look at that Canon sun flare. Yum, yum. So here's the bottom line. There's Canon lenses, there's Sony lenses, right? We tried out the A-mount lenses. We tried out the E-mount lenses. We really did want to make that change and go to Sony, but for now, we're not going to do it. I think for some people, it will make sense to go Sony. For us, it doesn't make sense. Most of our business is equally with weddings and corporate work, right? That's the majority of our business, both of those. And we got to do things fast. We got to share lenses all the time with our photographers. And for us, being able to have the ultimate depth of field, being able to have a lens that's, that feels better, right? That, that for us, we can get more and better shots with. We have to choose that lens. And for us, that's gonna be so hard. It's gonna be Canon. So we hope you enjoyed this. I hope it saves you guys a lot of time and money, right? Uh, you have limp, these days, you don't have much time and you don't wanna like waste money. I feel like you don't need to go there. For now, you can choose Canon over Sony, but the sharpness and the color of the Sony if you're into that and you wait, those, those are more important to you than all these other things, then, then you know what, maybe, maybe Sony is for you. So until next time, I'm Joe. Happy filmmaking.